it's finally here. Over the past 72 hours, the United States started rolling out a new way to draw China and Russia into a war by drawing ridiculous red lines in Ukraine and launching a new stunning propaganda machine. This thing is amazing. And the most stunning part is that the United States just admitted they're lying in order to create this conflict. Yeah, they're on the record about this. I'll have more on that in just a moment. But first, the United States just announced it's sending troops to Taiwan and more military assets to prepare for the coming war with China. Yes, they said this out loud, but they're pushing more fake news about China and Russia. They're hoping you're too stupid to read a book or to dive into the truth so that you'll just fall in line and go along with whatever propaganda they're heaving at us this week. We'll get to all of this and these latest developments around the propaganda and Putin and China's response to the West in a moment. But first, the United States is desperately trying to hold on to U.S. hegemony right now around the U.S. dollar. And instead of doing it through economic incentives, like China's doing with a multi-trillion dollar Belt and Road Initiative, which has drawn in all sorts of new partners in the Middle East and Asia, even Germany. Instead, America is doing the opposite. It's using military force to try and hold on to power. And America's infrastructure is crumbling right before our eyes. And President Biden just announced another $10 billion be sent to Ukraine to help their economy. You can't even make this up. If you needed any more evidence of America's collapsing infrastructure, just look at the many railroad derailments or bridge collapses over the past few months. Tonight, authorities are on the scene of a deadly bridge collapse in Clay County, Missouri. There's more bridge collapses happening every week. Or if you need more evidence that America is in trouble, just look at how one of the village people showed up in East Palestine, Ohio to save the day after the Biden administration allowed Norfolk Southern Railroad to destroy the town by burning deadly chemicals. So do you feel any safer now that Pete Buttigieg showed up in Ohio? I'd feel safer if Barney Fife showed up in Ohio. So this is America right now, where politicians lie right to your face about how good your life is. Like Vice President Kamala Harris telling us that the Biden administration has lowered energy prices and put more money in your pocket. For working families, we have reduced heating and electricity bills. So folks have more money in their pocket to buy things like school supplies, replace the dishwasher, or take a family vacation. That's a categorical lie. In fact, prices are up dramatically over the past year in every major category. It's gotten so bad that people are sharing new ways to cook food or heat their homes. Like this viral video teaching people how to save gas money by instead buying a can of tuna, using the oil in the tuna, light it on fire, and then cook inside or outside your home. Hey, it's cheaper than using natural gas. So this is what we get when the West blows up a cheap gas pipeline to Germany. People burning tuna or turning off their heat altogether. And it's been a very mild winter. The real problem will be winter of next year when those stockpiles run out and there's no cheap gas to refill them. And America, of course, likes to lecture the world about how to live after we blow up their pipeline. Just walk down the street in any major American city right now and you're going to see their policies in action. Just walk down Kensington Avenue in my hometown of Philadelphia and see the drug addicted stumbling over themselves, falling in the middle of the street, or the tent cities that are just blocks from the White House. But our priorities, of course, are sending $10 billion additionally to Ukraine. So this week we saw a major turn in the effort to draw Russia and China into an armed conflict with NATO forces and major revelations that the United States is actively lying about both Russia and China, in fact, admitting that they're lying, which we'll get to in a minute. But first, President Biden flying into Ukraine under the dark of night last week, instead of flying to East Palestine, Ohio, here he pledges more money and aid to Vladimir Zelensky and the corrupt Ukrainian government. And then he told the world his NATO intentions, which is that if China and Russia start getting too close to NATO, we'll fight back. And every member of NATO knows it. And Russia knows it as well. An attack against one is attack against all. Hilarious. If you get too close to us, you literally just built six new military bases on China's doorstep. And you're using American-made weapons to attack Russia. These are the United States and NATO bases surrounding China at the moment. Could you imagine if this was the Gulf of Mexico and China and Russia had bases on every little island they could find? The hypocrisy is so strong you can cut it with a knife. So we know that the NATO red line is not really about Russia, it's about China. It's about America's fading power in the world. And we learned this week that the United States and NATO just rolled out a new propaganda program 
as we prepare for a war with China. A new report lays out how the United States, along with Five Eyes Nations and Japan, are launching a new propaganda and information war against China. In this report, Vice Admiral Kelly Osbach, commander of the Naval Information Forces. Did you know that the Navy had an informational forces? They do, because we need a lot of propaganda. He went on the record with a reporter and explains how the United States is actively spreading lies about China. That China is somehow now delivering weapons to Ukraine to help Russia. It's laughable, it's fake news. But they're trying to create the story based on no evidence. Here's Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield telling CNN that this is our new red line against China. China should not get involved in this war in the sense of providing lethal weapons to, to the Russians, uh, that it would be a game changer. So suddenly all of these threats against China about them putting weapons inside of Ukraine for Russia? So where did all of this come from? It came from the same place all of that fake China balloon propaganda came from that were being attacked by Chinese balloons. It turns out they were kids' hobbyist balloons. But that doesn't matter, because a lie can travel halfway around the world before truth has a chance to put on its pants. Now, as Caitlin Johnstone explains, one significant recent instance of the United States government's acknowledged use of information warfare was when U.S. officials told NBC News that the U.S. government has been deliberately circulating unsubstantiated fake information to Western news media as part of an information war against Russia. They admitted this. We start this hour with the U.S. using intelligence to fight an information war and doing it to Russia for months now, and it's working. NBC News national security correspondent Ken Delaney and live in Washington. Uh, Ken, I want to start uh, by giving people an example of what this is so they know what we're talking about. Take a look. They're also suggesting that Ukraine has biological and chemical weapons in Ukraine. That's a clear sign he's considering using both of those. So that was a total lie, and NBC News was telling us about that. Guys, you're watching the United States actively looking for its next fake Colin Powell moment, where he holds up a small vial of chemical weapons and says that Saddam Hussein is using this stuff to justify a war in Iraq. And not to be outdone, the Wall Street Journal also got in on the intelligence propaganda by publishing a piece that came straight out of the deep state with this headline, Chinese drones still support Russia's war in Ukraine, trade data shows. Oh, so China is sending drones to Ukraine to help Russia? The answer is no, they're not. In fact, buried deep within the Wall Street Journal piece, they even admit the lie. But you'd have to read all the way down to the end of the article to find the truth. All praise is on and glory to our power, Yahweh, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. His name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son, our king, the redeemer of Israel, who is coming in his glory. Yes, as you can see, Babylon the Great is fallen and family. These are the times that will lift up the name of our power, Yahweh, and glorify his name and put all our strength forward and give him glory. Because family, there's no one that can declare the end from the beginning. There is no one that can declare the end from the beginning. All praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is the name uh, and his only begotten son, our king, the redeemer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai and to you, the hopeful, the hopeful elect of Israel, shalom to you, double honors to my teachers, the head apostles, the bishop, the elders, from the great millstone that taught me this truth, salutation, peace, love to all the brothers day in and day out, pushing the gospel of Yahweh Shai, the kingdom of heaven. This is what is going to lead us into the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on this planet. Yes, and our king, Yahweh Shai, is going to be in the midst. Yes, we actually going to see the king sitting on his throne. Family, let's open it up with Matthew chapter 24, verse... Uh, Matthew 24, verse 34. It says, verily, verily. Anytime you hear, you see, verily, verily, it is our King Yahweh Shai that is speaking. Family says, verily, 
Ver it's a verily I say unto you. This generation, this generation, family, we believe in our spirit that we were with Yahweh Shai when he walk on this planet, family, because family, the same generation is back here. It says here, verily, verily, it says verily I say unto you. Family, I get a real, I get too excited. Let me slow it down. <clears throat> it says verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled family they can they, family it says this generation eh, shall not pass that's why the beginning of this year our head apostle toha said this is going to be his this is what he said he says i hope i'm quoting him right he says hopefully hopefully this will be the year that all the prophecies shall be fulfilled Family, that's what we're hoping for. Because we hope that everything will come to pass in this particular year. That's what we're hoping for. But family, we know that we are very close because nothing is working for America anymore. Babylon the Great, the last kingdom before Yahweh Shai comes. Family, every lie that they tell, family, everybody's calling them out on it. Family, they are calling them out. Okay, family, nothing is working for them anymore. You know why? Because the Lord has broken the scepter of Babylon, the king of Babylon. Family, let's go to the book of Nahum. Oh, let's, let's go to the book of Nahum chapter 3. Mm -hmm. It says, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. Mm -hmm. And the prey departed not. This particular precept can be, family, can be used for America because America is modern day Nineveh. Okay? Because this was from Nineveh. And eh? that was the same thing that was going on back in those days. It's happening right here. Again, it says, Woe to the bloody cities. It is what? It is all full of lies. Lies, lies, lies. Family, the book says what? The, the moment they come out of their mother's womb, they are speaking lies. Yes. Because it is the Lord. He has broken the scepter, the rulership. And family, he's slowly, he's hardening Pharaoh's heart. They have made it clear they don't want peace. They don't want peace. And you know why? Because it is the Lord that is allowing them. He says here, woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. And the prey departed not. They think what they did to Africa, the colonization of the world, pillaging, raping, every family, all the, how, you know, you ask yourself, how was America a discovered family? How was America built? That's right. That's right. Stealing, robbing, pillaging, raping. That's what they did to the northern tribe when they came here. That's right. There's nothing new under the sun. They did it all over the world because why? They used their armies, family. That's the sword. Esau's blessing was the sword. So he used the, the sword to what? To pillage, to steal all the resources in the world. Eh? Went to Iraq, Syria. So family, that's what they are known for. Afghanistan. Eh? Because they can never have enough. And now they want to take it on. They want to take Russia. They want to, because Russia, family, that's a huge land. Russia is full of natural resources. But guess what? The Lord has set a trap for them. They think they can do to Russia what they've been doing around the world. But family, now they don't want no peace. They don't want to negotiate. Eh? Family, they want war with Russia. You know why? Because it is the Lord that is allowing it. Let's go to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 7. Family, you know where I'm going with it. Exodus chapter 7 verse 3. It says here, it says here, and I will harden. Hmm? It says, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart. You can relate this to this modern day Pharaoh. Eh? America. Eh? Modern day Egypt. America is known as the spiritual Egypt and Sodom. Because America is known for our bondage family. Because remember, when we were Egypt, when we cried for the Lord to deliver us, what were we doing? We were Doing, we were building pyramids, family. That's right. We were slaves in Egypt. And then we cried to the Lord and he delivered us. That's right. And here we are, the modern day America. 
Oh, praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Modern day, sorry, modern day Egypt. What am I saying? Modern day Egypt, eh? which is America. And it says here, Exodus chapter 7, verse 3, it says here, And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs. Eh? Eh? Look at the streets of America. The plagues are here. Family, look, look at the street. This is America, the so-called the richest country in the world. Eh? Look at the infrastructure. You know why? Because it is the Lord. That's how he's about to show his power. He's slowly destroying the country. Yes. Eh? Before he brings, up, brings the final judgment, which is going to be fire. Yes. He gotta, he's slowly, he's just, he's just taking his time. Eh? Break you up, break you down. Because you thought all the riches that you've gotten, you got it on your own. That's how the Lord does. He says here, and I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh, listen to this. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. The same judgment that the Lord brought upon Egypt with the ten different plagues. No, but this time it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different. This time when it's all said and done, America is going to be the lake of fire. That's right. And, it's, and then when the, when the fire settled down, it is going to be a desert. That's right. That's what is coming. So there's nothing new under the sun. Family, you saw it. You saw that clip from our friend, Redacted. Family, Clayton. Oh, if Clayton know how to do it. Family, he, bring out the, the, he brings out fire every time. This, these type of news, you're not going to see them on the mainstream media. So family, that's what the Lord said we should do. Eh? Watch and pray. It's all about the prophecies because Yahweh Shai, our king, that's right, the king of Israel family, that's why we boast. That's the name that we boast in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know why? Because we are the only nation that can call upon that name. That is our king. You see how this nation, they had their king, they had their princess, they had whatever, they had their prime ministers, the Chinese, the so-called Chinese, the so-called India family, we don't have anybody. But guess what? We thought we didn't have anybody. Until the Lord opened our eyes and says, no, your king, yes, your king is Yahweh Shai. Yes, the only begotten, the only begotten, listen, the creator of the heaven and the earth. He is our king. Who can, who can, family, who can put a claim to that? Nobody but Israel. That's the names that we boast in. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Family, we are very close. We are very, very close. Family, let's go to the headline news. Mm? Let's go to the headline news. Oh, family, this thing gets you excited. <clears throat> it gets you excited because, yes, the Lord is hardening their heart. This, this, is not, this, is not, this, is not, this is not a time for peace. No. Third World War is at the door. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Family, the first news. It says here, news points. It says here. UK Defense Secretary warns war is coming to Britain. Oh, yes, family. It is coming. Third World War. This nation, family, everybody's preparing for it because they don't want to spook the population. So this, they know, this is not going to be in the mainstream media. No. They want people to be occupied with their TikTok, their Instagram, their Facebook account. Yes. Keep you docile. The family, the watchmen of Israel, we're watching and then we're bringing it out. So you can prepare for the coming of your king, Yahweh Shai. This is how close we are. This is only for the elect. You see, the Lord doesn't want everybody. He has a select group, which we're praying that we are among the numbers. The select group, family, they can't wait for this place to be, to be destroyed. That's right. The elect, oh yeah, the elect, they get up every morning. They said, man, Lord, how much longer? That's the elect. But the rest of the people, family, they want this place to continue. But the elect, we crying, sighing, complaining to the Lord every day. That is the elect, the hopeful elect. It says here, the UK Defense Secretary warns war is coming to Britain. Mm. UK, UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace has warned that war is coming to Britain and demanded that the government commit to more military spending. You got to want to hear that. We're loving it, family. We're loving it. Speaking ahead of the one-year anniversary of Russia-Ukraine conflict, Wallace said the world 
is definitely more dangerous, more unsta more unsta unsustainable. Un 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 sorry, <laughs> slow it down, slow it down. Ooh. Family, I'm telling you, man, this 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 gospel it does something to my spirit, man. I get too excited. It's like a kid at a candy store. Family says here, it says here, um, more unstable and more insecure. And therefore, Rishi Sunak, the government must commit to increasing the nation's defense budget. Oh, family, let's give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh Bashem. I gotta go to this. Let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 62. Isaiah 62. Family, I didn't write that many precepts down, but I'm just flowing with the spirit. Isaiah 62, verse 6. It says here, I have set watchmen upon thy walls. Oh, Jerusalem. Jerusalem are the Israelites. Remember, Jerusalem were a place before. There were people before it became a place. That's in the book of Baruch, chapter 5, I think. Second, second book of Baruch, chapter 5. I can't remember the exact quote. But yeah, Jerusalem. Anytime you see Jerusalem, there were people before it became a place. So here, so anytime, where, wherever we are, family, that's Jerusalem. It says here, the Israelites, family. It says here, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace. Eh? We are not holding their, our peace. Why are we not holding their peace? It says, they shall not hold their peace day nor night. Yea, that make mention of the Lord. Keep not silence. Why doesn't the Lord want, it, want us to keep silence? Eh? He wants us to con continuously call upon his name and teach this word. Verse 7 tells us, he says here, And give him no rest. Till what? Till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in this earth. How are we going to become a praise? When we are in our rulership family, when we have received our new bodies, when we are above these nations, that's when we're going to be a praise on this earth. That's why we never stop it until Jerusalem become a praise. And we thank the Lord for this. Because he could have chosen any nation to bless them with salvation. But he chose Israel. That is why we boast in the name of our power. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rekar Kodash. So family, this is going to be in the description box. There's war coming. UK Defense Secretary warns. Again, war is coming. Because family, we know the Lord already said it. The Lord told us this. He was the only one that declared the end from the beginning. Not Buddha, not Allah, not whatever Hindu, uh, whatever God these nations worship. No, 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 no. It's Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Those two. The name. Those are the name that can declare the end from the beginning. All praises, honor, power to Yahweh, our heavenly father, and his only begotten son, our king, Yahweh Shai. Let's bring out the next article, family. It says NATO, yes, on Biden himself. It says here, NATO uh, and Biden. Hey, if you, get, you don't know, NATO is the, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Okay, I think it's about 30 nations now. They have a military alliance. You attack, you, you attack one, you attack all. Basically, that's what it means, family. But family, they've used NATO to, to destroy nations. Libya, the recent example, uh, uh, Iraq, uh, what is it called? Uh, Afghanistan. Oh yeah, family, don't mind these people. But the end is here. And that's what we are celebrating. The end of this wicked kingdom. The end of this wicked kingdom. And their next stop, for these people here, their next stop is slavery. It says NATO and Biden. It says here, dismiss China's Ukraine war peace proposal. Because why? This is not a time of peace. This is a time of war. Let's go to Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, family, it's all about the Lord. That's the time for everything under the sun. He said, to everything there is a season. Eh? Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. He said, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Let's jump to the verse 8. It says here, it says, a time to love, mm, a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. But this time there ain't going to be no peace because the Lord is ready to take down this kingdom. So they are going to war to fulfill the last prophecy mentioned in the book of, uh, let's go to Revelation 11, 14. Where is it? 11, 14. Family, I'm just flowing with the spirit. 11, 14. Where is it? It says here, the second war, which was the second world war, which was 1939 to 1945. It says here, and behold, the third war cometh quickly. That is the third world war. Apostle John, when he was visited by the angel that came directly from our, our king, Yahweh Shai, he told John there will be what? 
three wars before the king comes, before Yahawashai makes his entrance. Three world war. So it says war, war, war. Three wars were mentioned in the book of Revelation. And here the second war, world war came and passed. The first world war was 1914 to 1918. And the second world war is going to be 19 was 1935, sorry, 1939 to 1945, which Russia defeated Germany and the, the, uh, and, and the Nazis and the Third World War, which is fast approaching. Family, the only one that can declare the end from the beginning is our power, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, our king, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. How was shy? It says here, NATO and Biden dismissed China's Ukraine war peace proposal. Because why? Because this is not the time of peace. This is the time of war. Everybody wants a piece of America. And America is going to be on fire. Ho, ho, ko, ho, la, ya, ho, wa, ba, ha, shem, ya, ha, wa, shy, ba, ha, shem, ro, ka, ko, da. He said, Joe Biden and NATO have both rejected China's proposal to help wind down the Ukraine conflict. Why is that? Because it is the law that controls the mind of these nations. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 21. Oh, let's give honor and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem. We have to show his power. It says, Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. It says here, the king's heart, heart go into the word mind. That means his mind. That's the Hebrew word. It's lob. It says here, it's in the hand of the Lord Yahweh. You hear that? His mind is in the hands of the Lord. So let's see how the Lord controls it. It says here, as the rivers of water, hmm, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So if the Lord says, I want you guys to sit around the table and talk about peace, they will do exactly that. That's the power that we serve. But if he tells you the time of war, it is going to be war. So he's the one that is hardening their heart. They have no control. It is our power, Yahweh, our heavenly father. He's the one controlling their mind, family. Their mind are in the hand of our power. Do you hear that? So you, the hopefully elect, you have nothing to be afraid of. It is your power that is controlling them to fulfill his will and establish you. To be the head and never the tail again. That is what is coming for the elect. All oh, praises, honor, glory to our power for the sure mercies of David. Yes, it says here. In an ABC interview, Joe Biden dismissed China's peace proposal. Saying, Putin is applauding it. So how could it be any good? I am not being facetious. I am being deadly earnest. He continued. I've seen nothing in the plan that will indicate that there is something that will be beneficial to anyone other than Russia if the Chinese plan were followed. At the end of the day, this is not peace. At the end of the day, the Lord doesn't want you guys to sit around the table and talk peace. The missiles are going to be deployed across the continent. That's right. ICBM, you think the Lord gave you the technologies to build it and not use it? Oh, no, 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 no. You're going to put it to use because this is the last war to end all wars. In the king's kingdom, Yahweh Shai's kingdom, there will be no more war. That's right. That's why he's known as the king, the prince of peace. You hear that? The prince of peace is Yahweh Shai. That's why you haven't found any peace on this planet. They've been at war since they came into power. Yahweh Shai's kingdom is going to be peaceful, just like when he was, he came as King Solomon. Family, that's what is coming. So these nations are going to fulfill the will of our power, Yahweh Bahashem. Let's get the next article. So you can see protests everywhere. Eh? Protests, it says here. Is it the first one that I wanted to bring up? This is the big, the big one today. Was it yesterday in France? Yes. These nations are protesting. Family, they are fed up. Fed up with NATO. But at the end of the day, family, it's not going to make a difference. Because you know what is riding on this war here? American hegemony. That's right. America doesn't want to lose its power. So America, the beast is going against the bear. And we know that according to Bible prophecy, 
the book of Revelation chapter 13 tells you, right? The first two, set, the first two precepts tells you, it is the bear that's going to take down Babylon the Great, along with its allies. So all these protests, it's just useless. No, it's useless. It's not going to make a difference because at the end of the day, the Lord want to do away with this rulership and bring a righteous rulership in place. That's what is coming. But let's read this here. For, for me, let's read this here because the Lord also told you that this time will come. He says here, anti-NATO protests hit France, rallies against the U.S.-led NATO bloc, and the supply of weapons to Ukraine have been held across France. Multiple mass protests against France's NATO membership and its continuous support for of Kiev were held on Sunday in the capital, Paris, and at other locations across the country. He demonstrates so he, he demonstrations taking place for the second conse- consecutive weekend were organized by the, fa- the, the right-wing, less patriot party led by Florian Philippot, who personally attended the rally in Paris. The politician claimed the event on Sunday dubbed National March for Peace attracted even more participants than last week when some 10,000 showed up, up for a rally in French capital, according to Philippot. Smaller-scale anti-NATO protests were held at some 30 other locations across France as well. <clears throat> so you see, protests are popping up everywhere. Protests gathered outside major American air base in uh, in the EU. Okay, demonstrators descended on the Ramstein military installation in Germany, calling for an end to arms delivery to Ukraine. So you can see, majority of the people are fed up. The family is all part of the movie. Thousands rally for peace in Italy. Demonstrators in cities of Genoa, uh, Genoa and Milan are demanding an end to weapon supply to Kiev. Several thousand people turn up for peace demonstrations in Italy's cities of Genoa and Milan on Saturday. Union members and left-wing activists claim, among other things, that authorities in Rome have breached national law by sending weapons to Ukraine. Oh yeah, this is the law's doing. This is the law's doing. But family, let's bring out the precepts. Let's bring our precepts and glorify the law. And let's hit Jeremiah 51, because at the end of the day, it's all about Babylon falling. And again, let me repeat this in the mighty and holy name of my King, the Redeemer of Israel, the Holy Spirit, Rekha Kodash. There's no Russia, nor China, nor India is going to be ruling after America goes down. No, it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom. That's right. We believe what is written in the, in the precept. This is the Holy Scriptures. The word of our power, Yahweh. So it is Yahweh Shai's kingdom that is going to come. This world here is not going to end. There's the earth abided forever. It is the rulership, Esau's rulership, the Edomite. Esau's name was changed to Edom, the descendant of Esau. That's right. This Edom, Edom is in rulership. That's the one the Lord is about to visit. They're going to be sitting on the throne when Yahweh Shai come. That's right. The so-called white men, they are the one in rulership. That's right. They are the one in rulership. They are the descendant of Esau. And Esau's name will change to Edom. Family, let's finish off with uh, the book of uh, Jeremiah 51. Babylon, Babylon is going to fall. Ooh, Babylon, the great America. It says here, Jeremiah 51. Let's pick it up from verse 6. He says, flee, flee. He says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, her sins. And the Lord is not telling you to go buy tickets. You will be elect. You stay put wherever you are. You will be elect. Continue to do what you're doing, praying to the Lord. Don't buy a ticket and fly anywhere and hide, go hide somewhere. No, wherever the elect are, the Lord is going to deliver them. Okay? The Lord is going to deliver them. For us, he's telling us that what? Don't be partakers of her sin, all the wickedness, her holidays, all the abomination, everything that they push in this society. You be, be a separate from it. Don't be a partaker. This is, this, listen, the time that we are living in, this is not a time to be trying to, to, to go along and, 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 and get along with everything. No, no, no. You're supposed to be separate. This is what separates you. The laws, the statutes and commandments were given to us. To what? To separate us from this nation. We know we have to work among them, do what you got to do, but don't abuse it. 
You have to work in this world, yes. That's where it stops. But whatever they are doing, whatever the wickedness that they're promoting, don't be part of it. That's simple. It says here, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, sin upon sin. Said, For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. You hear that? It can't be any clearer. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. Hmm? He will render unto her a recompense. Eh? Eh? That's mean repay. Okay? It says here, Bab Bab sorry, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, because America puts push the, his philosophies on this nation. That's right. Democracy is the first one. Eh? The two-party system, which, which originated from Rome, the ancient Rome. Eh? Their holidays, their fashion, their Hollywood. Family, they use Hollywood to push all this propaganda around the world. They tell you that America is the greatest country. Yes, paved with gold. And yes, democracy. You can be whatever you want, liberty, freedom, all that nonsense. These nations drunk it. They took it, they guzzled it down, and now they are mad. That's right. They are, they are mad. They're telling you that it's okay. Now, family, I think it was Spain. Spain just said, they just passed a law a few days ago that, you know, it's okay to sleep with animals. That's right. I'm not making this up, family. This is no joke. This is the philosophy. This is the wine that they're pushing. And you think the Lord is going to spare this place? You, we remember what the Lord did to Sodom and Gomorrah? Eh? But this time, it's going to be on a grander scale. And it's going, the Lord is going to show people how not to live. How not to live wickedly. Because it's going to use America. America is going to be the biggest, the, the, the land there, the land America. And that's where the Lord is about to have his sacrifice. That's why right, Bozra. That's America. That's right. He says the nations. It says here, Babylon have been a golden cup in the hands. The, has been a golden cup in the Lord's hands. Hmm? Yeah, how? And 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 that made all the earth drunken. The nations eh, have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Yeah, you go to you go to some of these nations, family. The same thing they have in America. Their restaurants, their McDonald's, their Starbucks, and everything else. They are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are culture. They're trying to push it on these nations. They are democracy. Eh? That's what's happening. And now the nations are mad because they know that it all leads to death. That's right. LGBT lifestyle. It leads to death because you're not producing. Yes. You know? The law says go, more married, multiply, and, and be fruitful. But America, America pushes the other way around. And then most nations now, they've, they've drunk in the, of the wine, which is the philosophy. And they are mad. Let's continue to read. Babylon is suddenly fallen. <clears throat> verse 8. Jeremiah 51 verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, may be. So be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go everyone into his own country. For her judgment, listen to this, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. Love, America is now a laughing stock. It's a, America is a laughing stock. Because why? It's the end, family. The America fooled a lot of people. Esau Edom fooled a lot of people. They put themselves at the most high. That's why right. they gave you why Jesus. Eh? I cannot class him. When they came back in the what? In the, in the re re Renaissance. That's right. The 13, 1400. Eh? They removed the Asian landmarks. Eh? They put their names on these lands. Eh? I cannot class him. They paint over our king Yahawashai and put themselves at the most high and the son of the most high. That's right. And the people eat it up. Even we ate it up because at one point we were in the, in, in the plantation Christianity. We ate it up, family. We didn't read the Bible eh? until the Lord showed us the true message of David. Open our eyes and bless us with this beautiful gospel which we are singing, this beautiful song that we are singing in his last days. All praises to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, because we would have been lost in the world too. But here, 
our eyes are fully open because of our King Yahweh Shai. That's right. Yahweh Shai. He made it possible for us. And here we are, about to enter the kingdom of heaven. And we pray that we are among the numbers. All oh, praises to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakodash. Let's read on. It says, The Lord have brought forth our righteousness. Eh? Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord, our power. It says, Make bright the arrows. Those are the missiles. Eh? That's going to be hitting America. It says here, make bright the arrows, gather the shield. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the meat. The kings of the meat is, woo, Russia, that land, family. Yes, and Russia is not going to be alone, family. Russia is gathering his alliance. Yes, he's forming. He's going to be what? You have Iran, you have China, you have Turkey. Turkey eventually going to leave NATO, family, because it's Bible prophecy. Hey, this Bible prophecy is going to be fulfilled. It says here, Make bright the arrows, gather the shield. The Lord Yahweh have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against, listen to this, against who? Babylon. To destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. That's right, the Lord's temple are the Israelites. And we know what these people did to us. Every single captivity. This is the last captivity. They, did, they didn't show us no mercy. And the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is bringing. That's why I said, listen, vengeance is mine. Don't, don't take any matters into your own hands. Our job, the hopeful elect, the prophets, the teachers, is to just teach the word. Just get, put it out there for the elect. We don't have no guns. We don't have no bunkers. Eh? We just have a place to put our head when it's all said and done. And our Lord is the one that provides for us day in and day out. Our job is to teach this word. And he's the one bringing judgment. So your job is to wait on your power, Yahweh Bahashem. He's about to show up. And he already told them that they're not going to meet him as a man. He's coming with his angelic. He's coming, family. He's coming as a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. An angelic body. That's how he's coming. To visit these nations. And he, oh yes. Isaiah 63. Start from verse 1. Yes, he's coming for blood. That's right. Uh -huh. <clears throat> it says here. Make bright the arrows. Let's repeat that again. Let's repeat that. Uh, repeat that again. That doesn't even make sense. Let's repeat that. <laughs> it says here, Jeremiah 51 verse 11. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord, Yahweh, have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. This is Russia. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it because it is the vengeance of the Lord, Yahweh, the vengeance of his temple. Eh? He says, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambush for the Lord. Yahweh have both devised hmm, and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. Oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters. Waters represent people. But you know that Babylon, the great America, they have people from all over the world. Living in America. That's right. Listen to this. Oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters. That's many people. Okay. It says here, abundant in treasures. Thine end. Listen to the thy end. E-N-D. That means oh, it's finished. End. Right? He says Esau is the, what, the end of this world and Jacob is the next to follow. Right? End. It says here, thine end is come. And the measure of thy covetousness, you want everything. You can never have enough. You go to countries, whether, whether fam, if as, as long as they have uh, resources, you're going to find a way to remove their leaders and put a proper government in there and pillage and rape and take their resources. And then when you finish, you send them to IMF, International Monetary Fund, and they're going to take loans that they can never pay back. That's what you've done. That's right. That's why the Lord is not happy with you. Eh? Especially when it comes to the apple of his eyes, his people, you show them no mercy. 
You showed them no mercy. The Lord said he was what? A little displeased eh, with us, but you forward the affliction. You showed us no mercy. Eh? You cut the womb of a mother. You stomp on the baby. Said you use our babies as alligator baits. You hang us. Yes, you rape us in front of our family members. Yes, you separate our families. Yeah, the Lord is about to visit you. Mm -hmm. The Lord is just. The Lord is just. It says here, the Lord of hosts. That means the host is the host of the armies, family. That's right. It's the Lord. Yes, the host of the, all these armies in the world. They are all below. They all belong to Yahweh. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, it says the Lord of hosts, hey, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, have sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. You hear that? So, not just one person coming to attack you, there are going to be many. That's what is coming. He said, He have made the earth by his power. That's our power, Yahweh. That's right, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the only people that can call upon that name. He says here, He have established the world by his wisdom and have stretched out the heaven by his understanding. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens. That's power right there. You hear that? That's power. And he causeth the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasury. Eh? Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image. For his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them. All these nations and whatever they worship, it has no power. Because the last time I checked, this, none of their books can declare what I'm declaring to you in the mighty and holy name of our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukakudash. No other book can be compared to this book. That's right. So only our power matters, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. He is the only power that matters, the creator of the heaven and the earth. But this time though, this time he's going to make sure that the nations never forget his name. Hmm? Because it, was, it seems like it was a long time ago in Egypt when he did all that miracle. He parted the Red Sea, delivered the children of Israel, but majority of these people have forgotten that. But this time though, the destruction, the power that it's about to show these nations, yeah, they will never forget the name Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, because he's going to be sitting on the throne of David. That's what is coming, family. King Babylon is going to fall. And family, their lies is not working anymore. Nothing is working anymore. Eh? They are pushing for the, there's, there's, there's not going to be peace. Family, there's never going to, there, there, there's not going to be any peace. The only thing that is coming is the third world war. And Yahweh Shai says in the midst of the third world war, let's bring it out. Oh, family, it is beautiful. Call Allah, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakodash. In the midst of the third world war. Listen to this beautiful thing. Let's close it up with, uh, I think it's uh, sec Second Ezra. <sighs> second Ezra. Second Ezra, uh, I think it's 13. It's 13, yeah. Our family listen to this. Second Ezra. This is the midst of the third world war. That's why we're praying that this thing can, will pop off. Second Ezra chapter 13. That's we praying that this thing will pop off. Second Ezra chapter 13. It says, and it came to pass after seven days I dream a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea that it moved all the waves thereof. You picture yourself, you look up and then you see the cloud moved away. You see the clouds all together and all of a sudden you see the clouds parting, separating. And then verse 2, it says, And lo, there arose wind from the sea that it moved all the waves. Family, all the clouds were moved away. And listen to this. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong. Who is, who, is, who is Ezra talking about? He's looking at the chariot because the Lord is coming in, in, the, in, in the fathership. Okay? This is how it looks. This is what Ezra is seeing. Okay? It says, and behold, behold, and lo, that man waxed strong with thousands of heaven. And when he turned, thousands of heaven. Let's get that precept. Let's go to, the, let's go to uh, Psalm. Psalm 68, 17, I believe. What is it? Psalm 68. Family just flowing with the spirit. 
Uh, is this on? Is this some 68? Um. Some sixty eight. Oh, what is it? Uh, please bear with me. Yes, some sixty eight seventeen, right in front of me, too. <laughs> some sixty eight verse. It says, The chariots of the Lord. Our power, the chariots of their power are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord, Yahweh, is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. Family, so when Ezra saw this, it says here, it says, And I beheld, and lo, that man walked strong with the thousands of heaven, the chariot family. He says here, and when he turned his countenance, to look all the things tremble that were seen under him. This is in the midst of the Third World War. That's right. When the, when the king shows up. Okay? It says here. And when no one saw ever the voice went out of his mouth. What's the voice? The fire, the lasers, whatever is coming out of the chariot. It says here. Went out of his mouth. All they burned. That heard his voice. They burned, family. That's how he's coming. He's coming. Family, some of the lasers is just going to slice these people in pieces because I believe Revelation chapter 19 tells you that the Lord promised all the birds of the heaven, the fowls, a big feast. That's right. I think somewhere in Revelation 18 or 19, it tell, I think it's 19, he promised the birds, okay, the fowls of heaven, he prom promised them a big feast on that day. Oh, yes, family says here, and when and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that head, heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it faileth the fire. Hmm? And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. This is the nations, and the, listen to this, this is the nations, okay? Out of number from the four winds of the heaven, because these nations, when they see the, the chariots and family, remember the so-called UFO, they're going to put their differences aside and attack the second coming of our Lord. Remember, I think somewhere in Revelation, it also says that Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. That's right. That's what this is referring to. That's the precept to that. It says here, And after this I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men, out of number, from the four winds of the heaven, to subdue the men that came out of the sea. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself, a great mountain and flew upon it. Upon it, family. Yahweh is on it. A great mountain. Ezra described the chariot as a mountain. Do you know how big that is? That's the key. That's how Yahweh is making his entrance. Okay? But I would have seen the region or a place where out the hill was graven. And I could not. Ezra is looking around and seeing where did this mountain came from? Where did he, how, 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 where? This thing is huge. Okay, and here, verse 8 says, And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet does fight. That's right. When they see this family, they're all going to be afraid. That's right. They're going to be crying like babies. But the Lord is putting the spirit in them to fight him. And let's continue to read. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held a sword, nor any instrument of war. You hear that? But let's find out. He said, the Lord, our king didn't even have any sword or machine gun or, um, uh, or any, any uh, pistol, whatever they carry now, family. 
But here, let's hear, let's find out how our king Yahweh shall destroy these armies. It says, verse 10, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth. Listen to this. His mouth, as it had been a blast of fire. These are the things coming out of the chariots, okay? And out of his lips, a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. There are going to be all type of stuff, elements coming out of the, the ship to destroy this army. He says here, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight and burned them up, everyone. You hear that? That's how the king is showing up in the midst of the Third World War. And burned them up, everyone, so that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke when i saw this i was afraid ezra saw this that's how the lord our king yahweh is coming vengeance is his remember when he came as a lamb when this filthy animal the roman army laid their hands on him they slapped him they you know they put a uh I think what they blindfolded him and they slapped him. He says, oh, testify, tell us who slapped. You see how they make a mockery out of the king? This is how he's coming. Yes, this time he's coming as a conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. And he's going to have no mercy this time on these people. So prepare your heart for it. Your king is coming to take over the throne. All oh, praises. Family, it's time for us to rejoice. It's time for us to rejoice and give honor, glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for this beautiful gospel. Yes, we are ushering in the coming of our King, Yahweh Shai, to come and sit on the throne of David. And, and he's bringing healing for us. Healing, family. Healing and everlasting joy. That is what is coming for the elect. So, family, with that, that has been the headline news. I hope you were edified and continue to stay prayed up. Continue to give thanks for this beautiful gift of faith, gift of hope, gift of salvation. He's only doing it for Israel, but this time he's doing it only for the elect. And the rest of Israel have to be born back into the kingdom. Those that don't make it the first time around. So family, with that, I'll say shalom. Our praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha Kodesh.